Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom coming to you live from my basement of my Seattle apartment. You usually see all the windows all around here, but today I am doing NHL picks I for BPAL picks. Um, the, I did it for a long time. Well, I did it through the whole regular season last year and I'm back to it again. And the reason why is because I kick ass at picks, man. <laughs> You'll see we're going to be hitting like at 80%. Now, now, you know that I can't give you every pick because I have people that paid me for these picks and I don't think they would like it too much if I just handed them all out willy nilly. So if you want my paid picks, you go down there in the, uh, in the bio and, or in my comments. I'll put it everywhere. You can go over to BPAL picks. We have, uh, $5, $20, and $25, uh, subscription packages that you can look at there. You can get out anytime you want. And uh, yeah, as you go see this, you're going to see I hit a lot and it's a lot of fun. We're also going to be if we get once we get up to 20 subscribers, 20, 25 dollars subscribers, we're going to start doing a parlay challenge over there. And whoever wins the challenge will uh, get their month for free. You got to beat me, though. You got to beat me. So. You can also subscribe and hit the bell on this channel. You know, all the cool kids are doing it. And I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. In fact, here's a free one right here. I see Vance. I see Vance out there. He's getting his finger ready to hit the subscribe button. Melissa, send Vance a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. She's going to jump in the Pearlocopter. And off she'll go to the... Uh, Pearl to uh, Vance to bring him his mind. So you just sit out there and wait until helicopter, it'll come right down and you just grab it and you put it on and you'll have your my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace signed by me. So as you can see, I have, uh, I have, uh, some picks for today here on Bodog and, uh, they give you all the lines and all that stuff like that. So we're doing, Wednesday, January 13th, the first game of the, games of the season. It's going to be super exciting. It's going to be different this year, of course, with all the, uh, the kerfuffle with only having playing within the divisions and there's going to be a whole lot of backs to backs. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. And I think there's going to be a lot of money to be made. So let's start with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Philadelphia Flyers. So uh, I cannot give you the line on here, uh, but I can give you a total. Now, historically, I can't give you the line because I sent it to my uh, patrons already. They already have it. Uh, so th th that's uh, the winner of this they already have, so I can't give it to you. But I can work on something for the total for you here because I'm not giving that. Now, let me go down to total. Good idea. Opening, if you can get that up, has six and a half, under six and a half for 1.76. I like that. Although I'm not big on the juice here because Philadelphia and Pittsburgh have known to go over a lot when they play against each other. However, I do understand it. Um, you can get better odds at six on a lot of these uh, on Pinnacle. 1.96, that's not bad juice for under six. I just think that six, six is, sounds like the number. You're almost hitting the number there. I like the under six and a half for 176 here that you get on opening. If you're going to go six, I still like the under. Now, I just said that they usually go over, so why would you go under? The reason why is because um, they are two great goaltenders, uh, two great young goaltenders in Jari and Carter Hart. Philadelphia Flyers also last year showed that they were um, really bringing defense to the forefront there in Philadelphia. And... Uh, I think that this is going to be a very defensive game. 
for the very well played defensive game for the Philadelphia Flyers. They are basically the same team as last year. Um, so AV, Alan Vigno, his issue will be trying to get more offense out of this lineup rather than more defense. The defense should still be solid. Even with the loss of Niskanen, I still think they're going to be fine defensively. They have a lot of great defensive forwards. And Pittsburgh, I'm a little concerned with, with Cody CC and Matheson out there to, uh, to uh, get a little offense going. But when you're talking about six and a half here, I don't think Pittsburgh's going to score enough in this game to be able to bring it up to the six and a half. So I don't have a total here. I, uh, that's, so I'm, I'm leaning on a total here. We'll go under six and a half. If you can't get that six and a half, if you can't get that up and you're looking at six, I still lean to the under, but not as strongly. Montreal and Toronto. Now, I don't have a pick for my patrons for this game at all. So let's go to the money line and I can give you guys a pick for this game. Now, Montre here's the thing with this Toronto-Montreal game. Toronto has made a lot of movements such as Thornton, bringing Thornton in, but for the most part, and uh, bringing Brody in on defense, but for the most part, the core of this team is kind of the same. Uh, they, so I think that in the first game here, Anderson and Price are going to be in net. For sure, no doubt about it. The thing is, I'm a little concerned with Montreal having big changes in their top six to Foley, Josh Anderson, also Edmondson on in Montreal, Romanoff coming as a young player to play in that lineup. It could take, I think it's going to take a little bit for this team to really get their system down. Claude Julien, however, is does have a very strong system. I didn't give these to my patron, this game to the patrons, because I think I'm taking Toronto, but it's like 60%. And as you can see here on Bodog, a lot of the people, a lot of them are giving uh, 170. You can get 174 here at Westgate from Vegas. That's pretty good juice. 176 from Pinnacle. Uh, I would definitely be looking at 176 there. I wouldn't be putting this in a parlay or something like that. Tight game. But if you really want to bet this game, I'm leaning Toronto at home. Um, now, on the on the total, uh, six and a half. This is tough. I'm going to lean the under on here simply because you have Anderson and, and Price. But it wouldn't surprise me if it went over either. But I'm going to lean to the under. Look at the juice you're getting at opening at 203 for under 6.5. Obviously, the lower the lower juice is on the over. A lot of people see Toronto as a very high scoring team, and I get that. Um, I just think that because Montreal is going to be getting used to a new systems, Julian's going to play a very simple system at first. Get them acclimated to their defense. I think you're going to see a strong defensive game out of Montreal here. They're certainly not going to go go, um, go um, trying to outgun Toronto. Uh, I think Toronto will likely win, but I see it like as a 4-2, something of that nature. So that would put it just under 6. 3-1 maybe. Something of that nature. Uh, so I'm leaning under here. Chicago, Tampa Bay. Now I have a play on the line here, so I can't give you. So we're going to stick to totals. Uh, the total totals are under six and a half. I like the under on the six and a half here. Oh, um, geez, that's you know this is very tough. This is the reason why I didn't give it to my patrons. Tampa can, because Chicago is going to be playing either Subban or Dalia as goal in goal. Tampa could uh, could uh, could could make this go, go fairly high on here. I think Chicago could keep this close though. I do have a play on this over at my Patreon, and you want to go check it out? Go check it out. I think Chicago could keep it close. I think this. Let's. Uh, um, I think Chicago could even win this, actually, to tell you the honest truth. And I'll tell you why. Because 
This is going to be an angry Chicago team. Um, Kulaton is a great coach. He's going to have these guys starting out the first game in the believe in yourself mode. Chicago is going, he, Chicago right now has, you know, Taves isn't in the lineup and all that. And what's going to happen? Because Kulaton is going to have these guys gunning and they're going to come right out on Tampa Bay right away. You got nothing to lose. Let's give her. We're better than we think we are. All of these things that Kulaton's going to be saying. I can see Chicago winning this game. Um, like I said, I have a play over there. I'm going to, I think, even at six and a half, I'm going to leave me over on this game. Um I think, like I said, Chicago's going to come full bore. And uh, so I'm going to lean the over. I'll give you the over on that. I'm not giving this out to the patron because I could see it being under too. I'm not heavily leaving, leaning over, but um, there you go. Uh, Vancouver, Edmonton. Um, there are some couple of issues here with injuries right now uh, with Vancouver and Edmonton that they're not bringing out to the forefront. So I'm a little concerned on this. Um, I do have a play on the over under here, so I, but I don't have a play on the money line. So I'll give you a money line play here. Money on the money line. And by the way, tomorrow when you tune in, I'll tell you how my premium picks that I give to my Patreons turned out. You can see the success rate we have. They're getting 190 for both. For If you're getting 190 here, um, basically even money for both. I'm going to say um, put it in a parlay and take Vancouver plus one and a half, which will probably pay you about 135. I, this is kind of a parlay flip for me. Um, I'll give you, a, I'll give you, I, I think Vancouver's going to have a great year. I'll take Vancouver. Give me Vancouver in, at, on the road. Um, just simply because I do believe they're going to play Dell. It's going to depend on, that's right. It's going to depend on who Vancouver puts. If Holtby's going to roll, if they're going to roll with Holtby in the first game here, I believe this is also the first game of a back to back as well. I should have checked that out a little better. But um, it's going to depend on that. So keep on listening to me. And uh, if you go over to Patreon, I, I, I keep it going. If they put Holtby in, I'm going to take Edmonton. If they put Demko in, Vancouver that is, I'm going to go Vancouver. So keep your eye on that. If you're over on my Patreon, I keep people posted on who's in and I change my bets and stuff. So these are my early picks. These are subject to change over on my Patreon. Uh, St. Louis Blues versus the Colorado Avalanche. Um, I have a pick on the money line on here, so I'm not going to give you that. But I will give you a pick on the total. Um, that is going to be on the total. I'm going to lean the over here. Over five and a half. So um, simply because I don't trust Bennington right now. I'm going to have to see it first before I start saying Bennington is better this year. Uh, so and if Bennington's shaky at all, Colorado can light it up. We all know that. So I'm going to go the over on Colorado and St. Louis. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. I'll be doing this daily for y'all and uh, sending you out as many picks as I possibly can. We'll be getting into our picks for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll send them out to you. Head, I highly recommend you go over to Patreon right now. Tennis is on too. I go, I kick ass at tennis. 70% picks at tennis. Uh, B, my bro B, he'll be doing basketball, NFL. He's the B. That's Joe Bork. Uh, he also does Sports Fanatic News. You can go check out that channel. And um, enjoy the bets, boys and girls. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya.